What's happening, guys? I know some of you out there struggle at that 30 to 50 yard shot. In this video, I'm gonna give you two ways that you're gonna be able to knock this out of the park and be able to develop the feel to hit the shot on demand so that way you're not chipping twice or having to have a 30 footer in from a 30 yard or a 50 yard wedge shot. So if you wanna know the magic of hitting this shot, make sure you like and subscribe below. Give me some tips and information that you wanna see on the video channel and I'll be happy to help you guys get better at this game because it's so much fun. We're hanging out at the International right now, right before the live event. This is gonna be a blast. We'll see you here in just a second. All right guys, so I promised two ways to make your mid-range wedging better. One is a skill technique, one is a technical technique. And a lot of times you can have great technique and terrible skill and not have success. And sometimes you can have great skill, terrible technique and still have success. So there's all kinds of ways to do this. And so in order for this 30 to 50 yard shot to really work, you got to have some good arm structure, some good technical stuff. So we're going to cover that first. And then we're going to talk about how you can develop your skills a little bit better, uh, a little bit later. So to do this, I'll take an impact ball. So with this impact ball, right, this is what's going to help the arm structure. I recommend getting one of these. You can bum it off my website through the partners program. You can go through that training aid website and get it off a deal, like 20 or 30 bucks. Really easy to get your hands on one of these. They have different sizes for you gorillas out there and smaller ones for the kids. So the way this works is I see a lot of players who try to hit this 30 to 50 yard shot. They leverage the club wrong and you see their arms start to separate apart as they hit the shot. Well, as my friend John Dunnigan said, who who does the work is doing the learning. So we have to put this between our arms to feel that structure maintain as I try to hit these short runners. If I try to flip it or throw it, the right arm would separate and the ball would fly out of my arms and you spend your time chasing the little orange ball down the tee box as opposed to watching your awesome chips. So let's get set up and hit one real quick. It's always going to be a little awkward at first when you throw that in between your forearms, but you'll get used to it. You can still maintain a good setup where you get your lead foot turned out, your chest turned forward, and you're trying to maintain that structure and rotate your chest well through the shot to keep the shot to work. So let's give it a run, see what we get. So that had a nice little bit of bite to it. Clip the ball first, maintain some rotation with my body, right? And so in this scenario, you have to have good rotation through the shot. And a little nugget on that, the rotation is different when hitting a pitch chip versus when you're hitting a full swing. We see the lower body actually come to a stop, arms hit ball and continue on in a full swing. In a pitch, it's a constant turn to the target as we hit some of these 30 to 50 yard shots. That's a constant thought you should have in your head is that you should be constantly moving to target as you try to hit these. So we use the technical part of controlling the arm structure, keeping it together, moving around our body with good rotation and constant rotation, right? So the way I like to explain this is like, we, we build up speed by the amount of time we have in the swing and the amount of force we put in the swing. So if we just adjust the length of the swing, i.e. the time, we can apply the same amount of force and control our distance well. So this would be about, what would you say, Zach? 30 yards, thereabouts. So we have about, by the way, Zach's behind the camera in case you're wondering. <clears throat> yep, give the fans what they're looking for. So about 30 yards away. And so what you can do in these shots is use your left arm as a barometer for the amount of time that you want to use the swing. I don't like relating where the club head is. I like focusing more on where my hand goes. So on these 30 yarders, for me, it feels like my hand only has to get to about my belt buckle. And as I make that swing to about my belt buckle, I know I can't overpower it, right? As we would stretch it out to more of a 50, I feel like my hand maybe gets above my belt buckle. And as you get better, you can refine this more and more and more. But if you're just getting going and you're not sure how to hit a 30 to 50 yard shot, this is a really easy way to control the length of your swing and the distance you're about to hit the wedge shot. So on this one, I'm gonna try and hold it off right about my waist. As I hit it, that'll feel like it's my stopping point and we'll see if we can hit a nice little pitch for you guys. 
So again, we're gonna try and stop this at about our waist. Be a good little stopping point for my hands. I can control the amount of force I'm gonna put in the shot. Go off the slope. And so, again, I know I can't really overpower that if I have a good stopping place for my hands. Even if I try to hit it a little harder, it might only go just five yards farther. And I see that's probably the biggest problem with a lot of amateurs that are trying to learn these weird yardages with their wedges is that they have no stopping point for their backswing. And it's just one big motion and then they quote unquote decel. I hate that phrase, but I'm not even gonna say that. They have no idea how hard to hit it from that point. And they feel like they've gone too far. So they don't really try to hit it. They try to baby it in there. So you'll see the, a lot of these techniques where they'll go and the lazy way of calling it is a deceleration really what it is is you swung too far and you know you can't power it as much as required to hit the shot so then you just get lazy into the hit and we apply poor dynamics poor physics shot doesn't pan out so have that stopping point and know by practicing this is the skill part know by practicing how far your hand has to go keep the acceleration or the the force you're applying into the into the club relatively consistent and that will allow you to maintain some better distance control as you try to hit these 30 to 50 yard shots. I hope this helps you guys. It's been fun hanging out here at the International. Look forward to making more videos. See you later.